back in April of 2015, we we did a test on these aftermarket heads as far as valve seat run out. And we did two of them back in April, two back to back. This would be the third test close to a year later. Uh, we'll see if anything's changed as far as a uh, seat run out goes. Actually, right off the bat, I'm noticing that the vent holes have been added. So this would be a new improved head. We'll take a picture of that and show you what we're talking about here when we get the head out of the head out of the box. And the oil drain back holes have been enlarged, which is great because that was always a problem with these heads. this. See these holes? These have been added, which AFR uh, stepped up and made a change in the program. And also, if you look at the oil drain back holes, they've been enlarged. So that's good to know. So let's pull some valves out and check the run out. Two intakes and two exhausts. We'll actually check the run out on these valves too after we check the seats. So far, so good. Okay, can you get in there and see that? Look at that. One thousandths run out. So obviously something's changed. From our previous test, which was around eight thousandths run out. Here we got, well, one, two, three, four, five. Five on that hole. So still not perfect, but but better. Uh, while we're in here, let's check the valve height. So let's see, let's see how even they are. Okay. 
Can you get in there and see that? Can you see it? Okay, so we got it zeroed on this one now. Let's see where this one is. Within a thou. Not too bad. They definitely have done something because every every intake I checked last time was had way more than five thousand run out. So much better. Let's check a couple exhausts. Well, we're just going to have to zero from there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About 7,000 run out on that one. So we're going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, Definitely not runnable as far as I'm concerned, but the holes are there. The well drain backs are enlarged. It's good to see that. Obviously, AFR cares. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Part four, part three. Now we're going to check valve run out on these AFR 265s. Can you see this good? That one's real nice. No problems there whatsoever. Less than five tenths run out. Not, e not even really close to that. So that, that's good. Valve number two. Well, valve number two's got a problem. Get in there close on the gauge on it. I think we got a couple thousands run out there. Yeah, there's a couple thou run out. Now, doesn't appear to be in the stem. We can actually grind this and check it. Let's, let's do that real quick. You got that good? That. I could have got bent from the seat being out as far as it was, but it don't sound good. Get a good close up of the face on that. Alright, let's put it back in there. See what we got.
Okay, actually it came in. I mean, we probably got, what do you see, five tenths run out, which is acceptable. Okay, let's take a look at the intake. Like I said, that valve could have got out of whack, maybe from the seat, having as much run out as it did. Okay, can you see? You see that? We're dealing with one and a half thousandths run out. So that's got a problem too. Look at that. See it? Can you pan in on that? Let's check the second valve. This one, this one's good. A few tenths, two or three tenths run out. But here's the problem when you have all this run out. When the valve comes down and hits the seat, it's hitting on one side of the seat. Then the next time it's hitting on the next side of the seat and it's fatiguing the tip of the valve. This is how a lot of, I mean you don't have good heat transfer through the head of the valve to the seat. And it starts tearing the guide up because the valves in there fatiguing back and forth. Uh, again, this is part three. We'll take another look at it in about another year and seeing how it looks. But uh, I would say that these are probably better than a lot of aftermarket heads. But it might not be a bad idea to go through the valve job on them.